problems that face Indian people here in, in North America certainly is an international problem because we have a very unique situation here in the United States is that we are sovereign we are sovereign nations various nations various tribes of the United States various tribes rather in North America that have signed treaties and agreements with this country and through the past two three centuries the government has failed to honor those commitments and because of those failures Indian people here in this country suffer under a form of cultural geno genocide and, and this genocide is is a problem that a lot of countries and poor countries and all across the the world suffer and and we know that that the United Nations of course dealt with genocide in 1948 but in terms of the the kind of mistreatment and the abuse that and the killings that that go on on Indian reservations by government agents it amounts to ethnocide where they are killing off entire tribes where they are slowly utilizing giant machines here in this country to make this nothing but waste back here and to strip mine a lot of or, or all of uh, Indian land and we have to look at it as an international problem because it deals with an entire civilization a civilization that responds totally to the living things of, of this planet this very life that I have here because I respond to it and this plant responds to me but this civilization here in this country if it is not protected then then we cannot offer any kind of assistance to the civilizations in Europe or we cannot offer assistance to protect and to assist those gen civilizations in, in the Far East, Germany, Australia, Africa, France, or wherever. If we don't act by appealing to the international community, then the, the children, my children, will have nothing, absolutely nothing to look forward to. And they, they must, they must be given at least 50%. 50% chance to survive and if we allow the mining industries the strip mining to continue to dig up and continue to waste away this planet then and they will have nothing and certainly their grandchildren their children will never see anything it is an international problem. This country, ethnocide, is taking place through an agency called the Bureau of Indian Affairs, where the BIA has assumed total responsibility to be our paternal parent, 
to be our landlord. But this country doesn't know how to be a landlord. And the Bureau of Indian Affairs, the BIA, has, has been charged with the responsibility of protecting our natural resources. They have, in fact, taken a position to join sides with Peabody Coal, Kennecott Copper, and mining interests in this country to deprive Indian people of valuable water rights, water that in some parts of this country is so polluted that nothing lives. 